Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, um, it's going to be a new set. I have decided I'm no longer going to continue the blog tutorial series, but I can guarantee you I will finish this series. This series will be um, basing on creating a simple forum system. Um, it's not going to be something too technical like IPB or PHPBB. It's just going to be something that can be easily modified. Um, and much simpler coding. Um, I'll try my best to get these up as fast as possible. Um, it's not like I'm going to upload 10 videos at once, but I'll get these up within, I don't know, next within the next one or two months. And um, I can say we'll have a, a complete forum within that time. Um, if you have seen my last uh, registration tutorial, version 3, we're going to be using that as our registration basis here. And uh, that's how the user is going to be able to register and log into our forum. Alright, um, so first off, I'm going to go ahead and move this file. And I'm going to make a new folder inside our TUTS folder. Toots. Alright. And toots. And we'll go ahead new folder and we're going to call it forum. I'm going to go ahead and move register right into that. Okay. And we'll go here. Forum. And here's our register link there. Obviously we're going to have a missing file so I'm going to move functions back into that. Refresh. There we have it. Okay. Um, first off, we're going to go ahead and create um, the index. So I'm going, I'm into my PHP Designer 2008, create a new PHP file, and uh, we're going to start by opening and closing our PHP tags here. All right, now um, we're not going to make the the most advanced layout for this, but we'll make a, a nice layout that appeals to users at least. Um, we're going to keep everything located on the index page, but we're going to have files branching off of it. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to go into complete depth and add administrative functions like edit, topic, edit, reply, stuff like that, because that may take a little more time. Um, I have made a couple forum systems in the past, and hopefully this will be just like them. Um, we're not going to implement any uh, BB code, but we will um, just keep the function to a minimum. So, um, first off, I have this file. I'm just going to save this. And right here, I'm going to call this index. So now if we go back here, we have our index file. And now I'm going to create a new file new PHP file and this will be our globals file which will keep all um, our global information here so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna create a new database in PHP my admin alright uh, create new database we're gonna call it forum create um, actually we're gonna we're going to keep it under the database users since we don't have to switch around our, uh, our registration here. So inside our users one, we're going to go ahead and uh, make sure it's set up. So we're going to go back to our PHP Designer 2008 and we're going to create a MySQL connection or MySQL connection, however you want to say it. So I'm going to create a new variable called uh, CON for connection and we're going to simply define our MySQL connect function here our host which is localhost and our database in our ooh in our username which is root now i'm going to have an or die statement here that says mysql error and um, from there we're going to create a new uh, variable called db this is we're going to select the database so our function here is mysql underscore select db our database name is users and we're going to link the connection of the database to our connection uh, variable. So we're going to go ahead and save this as uh, globals or global. And we're going to go back to index. 
and we're going to do include global.php. Save it. We're going to go back here, make sure we get no errors. The connection is safe. Um, so I guess we can uh, start planning out what we're going to do. First off, we're going to um, we're going to use sessions for this. So uh, create session start there as our top one. Okay, and um, uh, the only two pages that will not be located on the index uh, file will be register and login. So um, is what I'm going to do now is uh, create a simple layout that will. Well, actually, let's not create the layout just yet because we want to get into our forum categories and our subcategories and whatnot. So uh, inside, uh, whoa. Anyways, uh, first off, I'm gonna go ahead and just add a. Uh, A simple little layout here, why don't we? Okay, I'm gonna go actually and do this in uh, raw HTML. So, uh, we're not gonna go to any standard doc type or anything, we're just gonna keep this nice and simple. Uh, first off, we're gonna go ahead and uh, open our HTML tag here. Everything will be located inside this. Now we're gonna create a head tag. And uh, inside here we're gonna create a title. This will be Marcus's forum tutorial example. Okay. And um, we're going to keep the style sheet on one page, so we're going to do it actually on this page. We're not going to do any linking. And now inside the body tags is where our content will be. Is so what I'm going to do inside these body tags. I'm going to open and close our PHP tags for later use. Alright, save it. And now what I'm going to do is um, simply create some style sheet here. A style sheet here. Um, and we're just going to do some uh, simple modifications to this. Um, we're not going to have it all flat and all just white background and whatnot, so I'm going to change the background color to a nice uh, nice light gray. We're going to keep the color of the text a nice black. Font family, we're going to go ahead and do, actually we're going to do Tahoma. And the font size, let's uh, let's do 10 points. So we'll go ahead and save this, and we go into here. And as you can see, uh, the background is a bit gray now. We have the title there. And uh, let's go ahead and create one little thing up here. Okay, I'm going to create uh, a, uh, a div ID, and this will be our holder. So we're going to name it holder. We're going to give this an absolute width of 90%. So it'll only span 90% of the whole page. All right, and uh, the height will automatically be adjusted uh, corresponding. So we're not going to define any height uh, property. The color we're going to going to keep black, and the font family will still be Tahoma. Um, the font size will be adjusted with uh, the body because it's inside the body tags. All right, and uh, actually we're going to put a border on this, so um, we can simply see it. And we're going to put a nice 10 pixel padding on each side. So uh, inside this here, div id equals holder. We're going to go to the right after we close the PHP tags and end that. To make this a little neater, I'm going to tap this in as we go. We'll go ahead and save this and see if we see any difference. There we are. I'm going to centralize that. So I'm going to add the center tags here and here. Save it. Alright, now it's moved right over there. And for the holder, I'm going to text align this to the left so it won't be centralized as well. 
you're not going to see any difference because we don't have any text, but we can add uh, some text, so hello, save it, and you'll see it is a 10 point Tahoma font, and you can see how it automatically adjusted to the size of that and it added 10 pixels to each side for padding of it. Okay, um, next we're just going to have, uh, we're going to add the login or register thing. And since we're using sessions, I think we're just going to define uh, some session uh, names as we go now to see if they are defined. If they're not, then we'll emit login or register. If they are, we'll say hello, username, whatever, whatever. Alright, so let's do user info as our div ID. Um, we're going to go ahead and hmm. yep we'll go ahead and do width 100 percent color is black font family is still Tahoma and we're going to add a board to this one pick solid number let's do an, a similar gray uh, there's going to be a text aligned to the left and we're not going to have any padding. Actually, I'll add uh, three pixels on padding. So right here, we're going to tab in a bit. Div ID equals user capital info. Close it like so. Inside here, we're going to open up some PHP tags and close them. And now we're going to see if the session. Uh, we'll do UID for user ID. If that exists, then we're going to do a query on that. Select username from users where ID equals session UID. We're only going to do this to make sure that um, the person isn't trying to uh, cheat the sessions by logging in incorrectly and having them still be enabled. Um, so we're going to do if MySQL num rows of a result. Oops. And we're going to do equals zero. We're going to call session destroy. And we're going to tell them. Actually, I'm going to align this to the right echo please a ref login to your account comma or a ref equals register dot php or register a new account okay and I'm going to copy this whole line so we can use it again. Oops. Doesn't really like me now. Okay. And after this closing statement, we're going to have an else statement and we're just going to echo that same part off. Else. This is inside the if it exists. So now that um, there's at least one corresponding row in the database that exist with uh, the ID is equal to the session of the UID. So we're going to go ahead and echo a href equals index.php act equals profile and ID equals row ID over here we're going to add welcome back comma, space, and we'll have our username here, row username, okay, and we'll go ahead and save this and see how that works out, index, refresh, okay, you can easily see how it's uh, corresponding to this, it's, 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 it's getting there, I suppose, um, <coughs> I'm going to get it rid of the width. Perfect. 
Okay, um... Next we're going to, uh... Do create the login. Um... Actually, I'm going to stop it here. Because the login will take more than five minutes. Um... So, please continue watching this, uh... Span tutorial. Um... When I complete all the t source, or all the tutorials, whatever you want to say, um... Not sure what I want to say. I, I probably will put the source up somewhere. Um, yeah. Um, well, if you like my tutorials and you wish to see the continue, continue. Wow, what a weird word. The continuity. I don't know. To see this tutorial continue, please subscribe. You'll get the videos as soon as I upload them. Go ahead and rate this video. I love your comments. It's always great to reply, whether negative or positive. Um, all right. Uh this video will be available in high definition. Don't worry about that. All these videos will be high definition and um you will get the 100% zoom on this. Um okay. Well, I hope you like this beginning part of the tutorial and I will see you when I create the next one. Goodbye.